What is up guys, Fiago here, Lisa here, and we are on the beautiful island of Madeira, the most beautiful island on earth, according to a certain Cristiano Ronaldo, who was born on this island, who grew up on this island, and guess whose house this is? Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, we are standing in front of Ronaldo's house in Funchal right now, the capital of Madeira, and is there a better way to start our journey? We're gonna go to so many cool locations, so many experiences, most of them will have to do with Cristiano, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> and Lisa's very, very Hype. Very hype. We will also visit Ronaldo's former club here in Madeira and watch a match. We will explore the nature. It's gonna be a sick, sick experience. And we're gonna take you with us on this journey. Yes, let's go. I actually find it crazy that Cristiano's house here, I think he bought it for like seven million pounds uh, seven years ago. And it is literally right at the street. It's not that private. He drives in here with his car. Everyone can see that. And there's actually been so many photos made of him chilling in the pool up here. He also lived here during the whole first lockdown when the pandemic started in March 20. 20 for a few months so he does come here quite a lot actually from the house you can also see ronaldo's hotel here which we won't sleep in we do have our own house but in this hotel there is also the cr7 museum with all his trophies all his titles very very nice we're gonna go there later but first of all we're gonna show you our house that we will stay in with seven people for the next week good morning welcome to our beautiful house that we bought here no we just rented it uh, we go down the stairs and we see a beautiful greek stage here i don't know here are some rooms david you want to introduce yourself yes i need a towel okay hello guys what's up here's some rooms to sleep here's another bathroom here we enter our room and we see it's beautiful it's big we have a bathroom over there and we have um, a balcony a very very nice uh, bathing thing where we can bath look at the ocean while sitting in this haven't done it yet here we are outside and look at this view guys down here we we sit and have a breakfast and down there there is another one another floor with a pool it's just insane and look at this the atlantic ocean never had a view like that before in my life here we have a beer that's the most important thing and we go another floor downstairs here that's the most important thing for me because i can show my piano skills it's always important for me to have a piano and play alle meine entchen the kitchen where lisa is spending all of her time and down here we see the laziest guy of them all he's just sitting there 24 7 and eating chips it is incredible <laughs> You know, Flo from all the vlogs, the pool, 5,000 likes, and I'm gonna jump in this. Here, the lowest floor gym area here, you know, every time, every day, I work out three hours. I get up at 4 a.m. and until 7 a.m. I work out. The guys know that, of course. <laughs> Here's a pool table, billiard table, very, very nice. And here we can go outside to the pool. Flo, of course, the guy from the Bochum vlog. Just living life. That's just life, honestly. Jesus Christ over there. Amen. Union Berlin, man. This guy says Union Berlin will win the DFB Pokal. Nur der HSV! Yo, guys, we are here in front of the... Christo stage here. It is actually so, so windy. Shimon, what do you say? I'm speechless, mate. Speechless. Look at the view. Look at this insane view and look at this guy up here. Bro, what are you doing up there? This is actually so crazy guys, this is the actual ocean, so wild, so many waves. Here we literally have a natural swimming pool. It is so calm and everyone is swimming in here, it's, uh, it's the actual paradise. Hey! just drove one and a half hours with a scooter to this beautiful place i think it's called fairy forest and you can tell we are literally in the clouds behind me there is some uh beef i would like to call it what do you think of this place yes it's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> oh my god literally in the clouds you can also see the ocean right here i swear give me a ticket to the world cup final a ticket to the champions league final whatever i still won't go on this rock man i just have way too much respect for gravity Hey! Hey! Hell is this man? Messi is my Jamie Vardy. Oh. Hey! Who is this now? 
in the sea. Awesome museum, guys. I am so, so hyped. You guys hyped? Messi is my goal. There's literally nobody except for one guy. Oh my god, he's there. He's here. Oh my god, guys, look at this. Obviously a replica, but still. UEFA player of the year. All his Ballon d'Ors are here as well. Guys, I'm here with my bro, Cristiano. He invited me. Thank you so much for the invite, bro. His whole story from a little boy in Madeira, then playing for his first club, then playing for Sporting Man United, Real Madrid in Portugal jersey, then for Juventus, and they didn't update it yet. Here is all the titles he won at his time at Real Madrid. So many trophies. Last time I saw so many trophies was in the highest form museum. All his titles in England. First ever club, CF Andorinha, and then CD Nacional. That is the club that we're going to watch in the stadium tomorrow. Golden boot. I won that one as well in Sunday League in 2018, I think. But yeah, this one's also nice. Man of the match at the World Cup 2018. Premier League player of the season. Those are actual match balls of when Ronaldo scored a hat-trick, probably. He could take the balls. Here we literally have the Champions League final ball 2017, where Real Madrid won against Juventus. All the signatures of the Real Madrid players. Here we have Real Madrid versus Galatasaray 2013. Supercoppa Italiana is literally bigger than this guy here. <laughs> no idea what those titles are, but they look nice as well. And look at those boots, man. This jersey just reminds me of the free kick goal from Cristiano Ronaldo against Arsenal. I think Champions League semi-finals or quarter-finals, 30 yards away, yeah. top bins. And this is Cristiano's first ever Ballon d'Or, 2008. Final, Lisboa, 2014. First ever club and the club national that we're going to watch in the stadium. And 2008 Champions League final, Cristiano's jersey. Euro 2016, Ronaldo's jersey from the Euro win. On this screen, you can literally watch all his highlights. Uh, I did borrow Cristiano my um, medal collection. Ronaldo literally has a dildo in his collection. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> the moment we came to Madeira for pissing on Cristiano's toilets in the museum. Are you hyped? The Ronaldo shop, you can literally buy an originally signed signature card for 10 euros. That's pretty cool. And there is also Cristiano jerseys officially signed by him. 160 euros, man. This man is thinking about copying one. So we just arrived at the stadium in Stadio da Madeira. I've never ever seen such a street that you need to take to go to the stadium ever in my life. I was seriously scared that our car was dying. It was only like that, I swear. We are so much up in the mountains, in the hills. It's crazy. Here we have another training pitch on the hill. There is actually the youth team of Benfica. We're going to see the future Joao Felice here. There's also Porto youth there. There's a big, big youth tournament here. Look at this guys Cristiano Ronaldo Campus Futebol I think this is the youth campus of CD Nacional yeah the next Ronaldo is already in there we are here in front of the Stadio da Madeira the home stadium of CD Nacional one of Cristiano Ronaldo's first ever clubs and the lads are here as well Noah a big big football expert what do you say <laughs> I think it's absolutely stunning to be here it will be a pretty nice game Vamos, Funchal. I'm gonna take you into the stadium in a few minutes <laughs> Oh, wow, fan shop here. Let's see if we're gonna get a kit, maybe a scarf or something. Wow, doesn't look bad. The legend Fabio Control. Nene was here. Legend as well, Paulo Asunso. Diego Benaglio, yeah, man. Wolfsburg keeper. And also the man, the myth, the legend. All right, guys, we were successful. Bought those nice pink scarves, and this lad even bought a jersey. Awake it. We're literally in the jungle. We are in the mountains. The drip, man. Man. Woo, woo, woo. From here we can also look down on the city of Funchal and also the ocean a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> this is the stadium, would be a third division stadium in Germany and the ultras are already here and there is also a training pitch right next to it. There is literally a bar here, but it's empty. What is this, man? What is this? This is not European stuff. Nah, man. We use different stuff in Germany. We want to buy some beer here. <laughs> Training pitches. And here, let's go, man. Uh, you can literally see the ocean from the stadium. That is premium. Never had that before. And this is literally like a better Sunday league. It's like watching my local team with a few more places. Maximum 1,000 fans. What do you think? Where we? Where we? It's Lisa's boring. first ever stadium experience. What do you say? <laughs> first ever stadium experience. What do you say, Lisa? It's not nice. I want to go away. Why though? The game hasn't just started. <laughs> Haaland! <laughs> yeah, man. Number 8 here, Erling Haaland, is also doing bits today. And this guy is also known. I think he used to play for Braga. He was on FIFA, he was gold card, like 77 or so. Yes, 
National! 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 Upamikano is also here. Up here the mountains and the clouds and here the pitch and here the ocean. It's just beautiful guys. The away end with like 10 ultras. No joke though. Cheers to them. They took the plane from the mainland Portugal to Madeira to support their team. Really, I respect you guys. Hey! Hey! And Erling Haaland is laying on the floor as well, man. What is happening here? Hey! Oh. Hey! Clear penalty for National, guys. I'm fuming. Haaland, stay at Dortmund. Go! It's half time, guys, and we want to give a statement to Portuguese football stadiums. The scenery is so beautiful. The game is okay, but who doesn't want to watch football and enjoy it with a beer? For me, if you can't drink beer on the stands, it's not a football stadium. No, it's not it's football. Not, what is this? Curling. It's curling. Football without beer is not football. It's volleyball. I don't I don't know. It's not football. New fan outfit. It is too hot here. It's March and it's literally 127 degrees. Uh, one nil. By the mantra. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Oh. Jogo Jota coming on now as a sub. Jorginho is there as well. So many top stars today on the pitch. Vaz! Penalty! Penalty for the away team. What the hell, man? Never, never, never. Bro! Was this that? Oh. Was that a penalty? No fucking Ah! Bruno Fernandes, she's also celebrating here. Fui! Erling Haaland, you did great today, man! Uh, one one man disappointing result for the lads today a uh, big blow in the promotion race for us to be honest with you guys we had to win this one still proud of the lads still proud that was the game guys second portuguese division flow what do you think was that worth it was the experience good i think we paid like eight euros yeah eight euros for the amount of money it was a 10 of 10 great game hopefully they will go in the first division yeah, I hope it was a great adventure if you hear it second division you think it's kind of boring but it wasn't that's a great experience and we want to experience more divisions all around europe second divisions ground hopping guys best adventure ever always combining a holiday with a football experience yeah just imagine the stadium is on this hill up there and you can have a look at the whole city of Funchal. Look how beautiful it looks. The ocean, here the forest. Uh, it's just amazing man. So guys look at what we just bought. Cristiano Ronaldo signed jersey Portugal 2020 and Shimon also bought one. Oh man this is so so sexy. This is a uh, bucket list guys. Going to the CR7 museum buying a signed jersey. The iconic Cristiano Ronaldo statue at the airport of Madeira, which is the new one. The old one was very much roasted now. This one looks way, way better. Yo, I'm back in Germany and I'm genuinely a little bit sad about it because it was simply an insane trip on Madeira. The island mm, is... Ah, I can't even describe it. I could literally imagine living there. This is very rare for me. I don't really plan on leaving Germany anytime soon. But if I did, then Madeira would be one of my top destinations, actually. It is a beautiful island with sick weather. The people are so relaxed. It is super safe. The only problem, it would be a little bit harder to travel to all those European football stadiums for vlogs. Anyway, this was an unforgettable experience with the homies and Lisa. We did go to a Serie National game. One of the most exotic football stadiums in the whole world. Up in the hills of Funchal, Madeira. I I am now an ultra officially. What do you think about my pink scarf, by the way? I saw Cristiano's house, explored some fascinating nature, and we did go to the CR7 Museum. Of course, I saw all his trophies there. And the absolute highlight is this jersey here, which I think fits me very well, but it's the only time that I'm gonna wear my signed Cristiano Ronaldo jersey. I will frame it and put it right there on the wall, probably, alongside this beautiful signature card, also officially signed by him. Here is the signature, man. I'm so, so proud of this. I'm now an ultra owner of a signed Cristiano Ronaldo jersey and also went to see his former club who also commented on my Instagram post by the way they said I was always welcome in Funchal appreciate it guys that is it for now hope you enjoyed this little short vlog packed with action though I really like combining my vacation holidays with a football experience actually so my girlfriend will probably be hyped to go to many many football stadiums and let me know where I should go next yo babe got a surprise for you so that's that beautiful place in Argentina called Rosario they do have an amazing nature great food and um yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's really romantic. <laughs>